Hi, I'm Ian Dees, co-author of Effective Testing with RSpec 3. My fellow author is Myron Marston, lead maintainer of RSpec. Between the two of us, we have over 20 combined years of automated testing experience. We've encountered a lot of the same obstacles that are going to stand in between you and an effective test suite. Now, when we say effective tests, we mean tests that pay you back for the time you spent writing them. They pay you back by helping you find errors and by guiding your software design. We'll also see how to reduce that cost by creating robust test suites that you spend less time writing, running, and debugging. If you're new to RSpec, or if this is your first time with RSpec 3, we'll show you how to get up and running with the test framework. We'll start with the basic building blocks of RSpec, including the expectation. This is something like an assertion in a traditional test framework, but with some extra advantages. For instance, let's say we're testing a Ruby method that returns a list of animals. Here's how we might check in a traditional framework that the first animal's name starts with A and the last one starts with Z. And if our code fails this test for any reason, we get a pretty vague error message. By contrast, here's a comparable expectation written in RSpec. It reads a little more like English, but even better, when we run this and our code fails, we get a nice, clear, specific error message showing exactly what went wrong. The parts of an expectation include these composable matchers that you can mix and match in your own code, and we'll show you how to do that in the book. If we zoom out a little bit from this code, let's show how to combine these expectations into an entire test suite. So a single expectation would go in an example, which is something like a test method from a traditional framework. And then you combine one or more examples into example groups. And RSpec gives you lots of ways to organize and run these example groups. And we'll show you them in the book. The centerpiece of the book is a web service that you're going to build with RSpec 3. Specifically, you'll build an expense tracker. With it, you can use any REST client that can post JSON data to record expenses. And then you can query that same API to find out what expenses were posted on a specific date. At every step of the way, RSpec will help you catch errors and write a robust, maintainable design. The rest of the book is a series of deep dives into different aspects of RSpec, each one centered on how you can level up your automated testing skills. For instance, you'll see how to use RSpec's powerful command line, how to combine matchers into better and clearer expectations, and how to rerun only your failing tests. Let's talk about that last one for a second. Here we have a test suite with three examples in it, and one of them is currently failing. In our test report, we can see that all three examples ran. But we might want to focus our attention just on the one that failed. If we start our spec with the only failures option, as the name implies, once we run it, only the single failing example ran. This can be really useful if you have a lot of debugging statements or breakpoints in your code that you only want to hit once. The final chapter of the book is about test doubles, also known as mock objects. This is one of our favorite chapters of the book. We've distilled our hard-earned experience and the wisdom of the software development community into detailed advice. It's one of the things we're proudest of about this book, and our early readers have told us that they love it. Thanks for watching, and we hope this book helps you write effective tests for your own Ruby projects.